Hi, uh, in this video we're going to be finding an unknown branch resistance. And this is the formula that you're going to use if you're going to be solving for a resistance. For instance, this resistance in this circuit, and we don't know what this resistance is. But what we do know is we do know what the total resistance is that we want to have out of this circuit. So you, if you look at this formula, it's, it's going to be, you're going to multiply the resistance that you have in parallel, in this case it'll be the 60 ohms, times the total resistance that we want. Uh, and then it's going to be divided by the resistance minus the total res resistance. Now this might look kind of kooky because you're probably wondering, if, well, if I multiply the resistance times the total resistance, it's going to make a, it's going to make the value odd, or maybe it's too small or too big. But uh, th this is the one you use, and, and if it looks a little bit confusing, and at first it was kind of confusing when I learned it. So what I, I, I wanted to do this uh, example right here just to reemphasize how you solve for resistances in parallel. So here, uh, this is the formula that you use when you're solving for resistances in parallel. Now this is the formula that you would use if you have multiple, uh, multiple resistors in parallel. Uh, that's that's a bit sloppy, but uh, let me let me write that again. I didn't. Like the way that looks. If you're if you have it in parallel, it's one over RT is equal to the number of resistors you have in parallel. I only have two resistors in parallel here. That's why I only did it to R1 to R2. But if you have more, it's going to be plus one over R to the number, however many resistances you have. So if you have 20 of them, you're just going to keep going one over R2, one over R3, all the way to R1 over R20. So in this case, uh, here I put down the 100 as R1 and 1,000 ohms for R2. And I just plugged them straight in there, and I worked it out, and you see that the total resistance of the circuit is 90 ohms, which is less. The total resistance of this circuit is less than the actual individual resistor. So here I have one resistor that's 100 ohms. Here I have another resistor. I have another resistor that's 1,000 ohms. But if you combine them in parallel, you're going to have less overall resistance. And that's what that's showing you. So let's continue on. And here, what we're supposed to do here is we, I want you to find the resistance here uh, on this branch of the circuit. And what you're given is that you're given this the first resistor in parallel, and you're also given that what you want what you want the circuit to have is an overall resistance of 24 ohms. But you don't know what Rx is here, so we got to solve for it. So the way you do that is, well, let's, let's, let's solve for that right now. So let's plug in 60 for the resistance in parallel. So that's 60, and then times RT, and that would be here, the 24 ohms, so times 24 ohms. And that's going to be divided by, again, the, resist the resistance in parallel, which is 60 ohms, minus the resistance in uh, parallel, or not parallel, I'm sorry, the total resistance, which is minus 24 ohms. And that's going to be 1,440, and that's going to be 36. So let's see, 12 goes into 36 three times, and 12 goes into 144 12 times, put that zero. So that's going to be 40. So the total resistance in that branch is going to be 40 ohms. And we can check this by plugging it into the, 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 the formula where if they're in parallel, if you have two, so two resistors in parallel, then that's and the resistance, the total res resistance in parallel is equal to R1 times R2 divided by R1 plus R2. And that's going to be equal to, well, we said it's 60 ohms plus or no, times 40 ohms divided by 60 plus 40. So that's going to be 6 times 4, 24, uh, 2400 divided by 100. So these two go away. And you're left with a total. Oh, I need to scroll down a bit. We're left with a total resistance of 24 ohms. So that checks out. So it turns out that the 40 ohms, the, this resistor, the resistance of 40 ohms is perfect and it, it works out so 
and it, and it worked out with our check so that's how you solve for this and uh, I hope it was helpful and if you liked it please like it and good luck in your classes